but the other schools throughout can start getting ready for the 92-93 season. It's a fun day for almost everybody. Hey guys. At the Rutgers Athletic Center, the volunteers feature one of the nation's best shooting guards in Allen Houston, who averaged 21 points a game last season. Too strong, Lamoureux with the offensive putback. And there's a second chance. Here, he's trying to find out what this team is like. A little bit distracting there behind with the students there. Oh, leaving his man to double team. Worthy all the way. And that's the way to attack it is down the side. Worthy all the way. Worthy all the way. Worthy all the way. Charlotte Knights of Rutgers, whose up-tempo style produced 113 points in their last outing. Coach Bob Wenzel and his Knights are ready to fight for a win at home. Very quite a bit. Rutgers will take that first available for pressure. You can bet. But T throws into it. Worthy with the steal. And the field goal. The thing where we're trying to improve on all the things that we've done in practice. But it's going to be very easy and good exposure. Lamoureux again with the offensive rebound, the basket, and a foul. That's the second offensive rebound for Andre Lamoureux, and he'll have a chance. Don't go, but there's Andre Lamoureux slicing between Carl and Worley and Bernard Jones. That's what Worthy does so well, goes strong to the hole. Weiler had no choice, but picks it up, gives to Santiago. Nice head point opening half lead. It was all Mike Jones who scored the night's first shot. There's Alvin Rich. He hits a three. And Alvin Rich now red right back with a three of his own. And it's been a three-point best. Blunt has a shot rejected by Lamoureux. Andre the Giant early on. Here is Worthy right back. Nice move. Second chance. Got it. Well, this is the before they must get back on defense and set up that man-to-man -man defense. Lamoureux on the baseline. What was the pre-game meal for Andre Lamoureux? Whatever it was, he liked Mike it. Jones feeds Andrew Kolbasovsky. Oh, that real deep zone where I, everything I... I think among Lumpkin and his teammates who shot a sizzling 82% in the first half, jumping out to a 40-point 62-22 halftime. To protect his nose and it's off of him out of bounds. Well, just couldn't convert, but everybody just converged. You saw it right there. Kellogg was wide open. Steve Worthy likes the open court. Nice drive. Jones. Very similar play. Papa Williams becomes just so effective because he can go inside or out. Lumpkin sets up. There it is. Phillips takes down another rebound, and Rutgers on the run. Worthy with a story so far in this game. Here's Danell Lumpkin bombing from out front, and that's set the all-time. Jones left alone for three. with a head-to-head -head conversation with his leading scorer, Steve Wolf, to play in the half. Kolbosovsky <laughs> forcing it up and banking it in. Weiler inside over Carlin. Break it down. Worthy. Beautiful move to the hole. Finally, ten scoreboard in action from earlier. He had been sharing. Johnson has it stripped by Worthy. Rutgers trailing it by six. Here's Jones. Yes, it will count plus a foul. Here's Weiler setting it in. Great look to get the good shot. Here's Weiler setting it, in. setting it in. Here's Worthy spinning finds Lamoureux. The bucket and a foul. That's the second time in this first half that Andre Lamoureux has gone to work in the paint, coming away with a field goal and second a personal foul called against Rap Curry. Andre Lamoureux fights for it. Jones keeps it alive and scores. He did, and, and the post players scored. I mean, it was just like an avalanche. And uh, I don't know, it's the moon or something. Uh, you know. Stay close early as Steve Worthy led the way with 27 points with the three pointer there. Pressure. And Newsway, Rutgers got a break there because. Now Rutgers with the fast break. Worthy all the way. Boy, the freshman in the paint. Follows his own shot with the tag. Has his shot rejected. Lumpkin for three. What good defense will create offense. Jamal Cook. Jones underneath has it rejected. Temple will have possession. 
One out of two for Blunt. Worley has the rebound stripped away. Mike Jones, too strong. Lamoureux puts it in. Andre Lamoureux off the screen. Retton puts it in for three. With the slam, Ruck is led by 15 at the half. Alvin Mitch right there, just reaching from behind in New Jersey. So Kellogg will go to the line to shoot, too. He's Dingle and Lou Rowe swap positions now. Lou Rowe taking a breather, and all that the position is doing is double cross. It's Phillips for the freshman, Kolbasovsky. New York City, the good move inside, and there's Lumpkin picking up a foul. Brunson with the steal. Lumpkin keeps it alive and scores the field goal. Two. Lumpkin will and hits. Danell Lumpkin with his second three-pointancy here in the opening half. Jones off the feed from Jamal. High percentage variety shots. Santiago to Steve Worthy there. Worthy led Bob Wenzel's Knights with 18 points. Rutgers jumped out to a 26-9 lead in the first half. The half end nine lead and lead in the, in the first half. In favor of UMass. Now Worthy goes to work. Nice shot. Nice follow tap there by Mark Redden. Senior at the rack between Temple and Rutgers. Ed and I will be back right after this timeout. What about the number of points that have been scored so far as far as John Cheney's wishes to play a slow down Temple style of play? Doesn't this favor Rutgers? It does if they can keep it as a ball tipped up and in by Jamal Phillips. Had to make a go of it here today and now he is in severe pain on that knee. Well he got he got the give and go, but he Worthy gets Jones in the air and hits the point away. Lamoureux puts it up and in. And Andre Lamoureux. And Lou Rowe is down on the court holding his face. As play continues, Worthy with the last. 16 points from Steve Worthy. But Worthy's done a nice job, primarily off the fast break. Rutgers has scored in the game. He's going to take it all the way. No, nice dish to Santiago. Averaging 10 points per game. Worthy, Worthy, dunks over, Worthy, dunks over, Bernard. Play with the rebound, three on two, Rutgers, Lumpkin. Oh my, the bucket will count in a very... Only turned it over 22 times, the Mountaineers gave it away 25 times. Jamal Phillips led the Scarlet Knights with 14 points, leaving the crowd happy about something. you a two-point lead with 1.8 seconds remaining. But George... Kowalski kept alive by Jamal Phillips. Too tall for Rick Brunson and Bob Wenzel's club. Trent, the two points. It was all worthy in the second half, who only had two points in the first, but followed up with 25 in the second half. The senior was unstoppable, scoring the team's first 12 points of the half and scoring on eight of his nine field goal attempts as the Scarlet Knights improved their record to 6-6 six and six in the Atlantic 10, 13-12 overall to stun the second-place Rams. It was Rutgers' third straight win. It was all six and four and six in the Atlantic. Six and six in the Atlantic ten. Jones inside. Mike Jones penetrating. Nice scoop. Better job in the second half. Trying to one of four. Santiago for three. Yes. Santiago. Split the defense and Kobasovsky. Kobasovsky. Soft touch. Hits it that time. And a nice coming up on the 14 minute mark. Santiago with a three made contact with Eddie Jones. Well, that was a nice play though by Santiago. Nailing the long three to close the gap. And Trenton Steve Worthy down to two pointer to give Rutgers its first lead of the second half 77 76. Are you fans and are you coach Bobby Wenzel pumped up about it? But tied 78 off. Got to float around the rim a couple times before they miss it. Of course, Rowe. Once again, Santiago splits the defense for two. Brown, there's the scoop shot. Now, Rap Curry with the bad leg. He goes by him, uses the quickness, and scoops it in right inside. The strong guard. The freshman. Andre Lamoureux's fan course. Against the freshman, Kevin Connor. Tough work inside by Jones. Well, Mike Jones Duck with the left hand. Stewart keeps it alive and scores his first two. He's working with the outside game. Steve Worthy. Santiago, that's a three. A foul on that on the playground. Look at Worthy. What moves? Is that a deuce? Yes, it is. Kobasovsky, the freshman. That's Rich. Yes. Three with a minute and 24 left.
Steve Worthy with a good baseline move. Rutgers cuts it to a one point. Held the lead. Here's Worthy. That's a three pointer for Steve. Osmond has it stripped away by Santiago. Great hustle by Santiago. He was the point. A steal for Lumpkin, finding Santiago. Nice look. Mike Jones finishes. That's an excellent fast pace. Steve Worthy looking for his first points of the second half. That's a two. Steve Worthy. And Coach looks very composed on the sideline. He must have said something that the referee did not agree with. <laughs> Absolutely. I think he's calling a team. Mike Coffin squared up his body. Coming off the screen. Second half. UMass. Worthy goes in. He is fouled. The Tough foul there for UMass as they were comfortably really using one hand though, snatching rebound. The freshman Kolbasovsky. Nice move. And Kolbasovsky. This kid's gonna be a player. Osmond had a chance for a layup, and Wenzel likes the effort he's seeing from his And they'll call a foul against Temple as Worthy is knocked to the ground. They've got Temple on a roll, but this time Steve Worthy. 59-57. Temple couldn't have called the timeout because they didn't have the basketball. It was Rutgers' possession. And Judged by points alone. Santiago once Good call by the winter, the full court press. So we expect to see all games just to create some turnovers. Offense. You see Donnell Lumpkin with the steal. He avoids the offensive foul right there, but Rap Curry, there's your around the back, keeps his head up, and the nice dump off pass without even seeing Mike Jones for the two point. Lamoro keeps it alive. Yes, the bucket will count, plus a foul, Andre Lamoro. Talked about being emotional. You see Worthy keeps it alive. Lamoro picks it up and gets the nice roll here at St. Joe. And he'll hop, he says something to St. Joe players. It goes all the way to half court. It's out to a good start. Steve Worthy dials up long distance. Scarlet Knights were on. Like they might salvage the victory. Steve Worthy turned the clutch three-point play. Worthy, who's made his last three, makes it. Rutgers will have it back. Steve Worthy, he has made four in a row. Well, the senior from Trenton Central in Trenton, New Jersey, is on fire here as he powers the ball in there. He's also playing good defense on Aaron McKee right now. Here in the final minutes, Mike Jones puts it up and in. He has been a factor in the second half. Ten points here. <laughs> What a second half. Wow. Second tap in a row. Using the rim. Handled easily by UMass. Pass by Eddie Jones again. Over Worthy, but Worthy stays there. Takes it back. He'll get a second chance and score. Well, Santiago had the wide open 15 footer. Then he got to low. In and out on his three attempt. Jones again is there. And can have. Phillips keeps it alive. Lamoro is there to finish it off. Game. Steve Worthy led the way for Rutgers with 17 points, two of them there on the layup. And teammate Donnell Lumpkin backed him up with 14. Three points. Again. Big basket. What happens is that they need to do is they need to mix it up offensively a little bit. They can't rely. Jones, he's been red hot. Worthy for three. It's good basketball by Rutgers on a half court. Santiago will take it off. And Worthy both can hit that three. Worthy got it. On this defense, kicks it right out to Worthy. Worthy gets his feet under him and his legs in the shot. Ball tipped up and in by Jamal Phillips. Spirits up. Santiago, bomb. is the final. We'll be back to wrap it up from the wrap.
Thompson up. No, Dare rebound goes right into the hands of Chuck Weiler, and he'll cash in the cut. Will push. Rutgers wants him to shoot that shot in transition. His three-point basket breaks the seal. Uh, here we, we intended to pound the ball inside. Final home game of the season. The Scarlet Knights honoring three seniors in all. This one, Chuck Weiler. As well with, he's out of Brooklyn, New York. Out of Brooklyn, New York with his day by Ashby. Weiler gets it in the paint, tried to pass, and instead breaks the seal on his final game as a senior. Ice hockey score at two off. <laughs> Charles Jones off glass counted, and the foul on Marcus Ford. Baseline, Jamal Phillips. Nothing but net. Gets the easy jumper. Phillips trying to hook up with Wally Dixon, and Dixon reverses for two. Nice catch. Jay, we came off a thumb up play, which is a high pick and roll for Charles, and that gets him on balance. And of course, this is uh, Charles penetrating and dishing to Rich Ashmead. This is the first game we've been able to play with two big guards, and uh, that's going to help us defensively. As they confer, John Call side one way, Art McDonald overruled. Well, he's his own defense. At seven feet tall, but Charles Jones shoots over the points. Three offensive rebounds, four already for Michael Anderson. Here's Jamal Phillips getting inside on Collins for two. January. Jamal Phillips counted and the foul. And again, nothing uh, to do so. Now Chuck Weiler. <laughs> Weiler bobbles, puts it up. He got fouled. No call. Team that stru struggles to score offensively. Obelsavsky, one of their better interior scorers. Two points, he came out of it a little bit. He kicked this strong to the basket. Uh, this was the first play of the second. Take a jump shot from the side, and Weiler is starting, starting to show him. First time that GW has been able to throw. Mark time for three. That is something that Bob went Nine. Here's Dixon in the corner. Got away with a walk. Lays it in. Molly Dixon, who's kicked to Kobelsavsky. Over Samuel. Ankle looks pretty good. Close to the hole. Wild shot. Jamal Phillips for the offensive. 13.6 rebounds. Ashmead, six points. The freshman for us, and he's been starting all year. That's a pretty athletic move he makes there. The reasons why the Rams have struggled. Well, for not being projected to play. He'll try again and hit again. To make that catch. Those hands right up there. If I had it, it was a jump. <laughs> The jumper for Chuck Weiler. They were even a bit. Dixon. <laughs> That's jam time. Wally Dixon. Well, a little sloppy play. But... That's jam time. That's jam time. With numbers. Three on one. Jones. Marcotte. Back to Charles Jones. Oh, baby. Nice unselfish play by Rutgers. Charles Jones. Charles Jones near the end of the game, we, we created a few steals here. Charles going down on a dunk and, and Robin James going down on a dunk. Uh, Here's makes the call. Andrew Kobelsavsky, a great tap. Kobelsavsky for a second. Ashby, from three point range. And Rutgers goes up, able to settle. Jones at the other end. Well, he, three. he can really score in bunches. He's a street shooter. Once again, Marcotte was there to intercept for Rutgers. Marcotte, all the way, counted, and a foul on Omo Moses. That gets Bob Wenzel off the bench cheering. Junior guard on to be more aggressive. He sees it here on that play, attacks the basket, avoids the contact to a certain extent. Marcotte rebounds, head of the field, Jones. Charles Jones. Scores and Calvin led the New York City Catholic League last year in scoring. So we had 16 points. We were down and we ran a couple of set plays for Charles late and we were pressing. He hits a three there. We clear a side. He gets on balance, makes a beautiful shot here. And then we run the same exact. Marcotte kicks to Charles Jones for three. Kobosowski with the left hand. Andrew Kobosowski. Chuck Weiler spins inside, gets around 
Michael Anderson for the deuce. His first basket of the contest. Charles Jones off the screen. That's good news for RU. For Drexel. But scoring just three and a half points a game as Marcotte, another guy who's had scoring problems. Here's Anthony Stewart back in the contest. He gave Bob Wenzel some good minutes early on. Marcotte drives, lays it off to Jamal Phillips. Nice penetration by Pete Mark on the bodies. Charles Jones squares up to the basket, and when he gets a good look like that, it's usually going off glass hole, but Jamal Phillips jams it home. Jamal Phillips trailing on over oh, Jamal Phillips, over oh, Jamal Phillips jams it home. The inside, that's been the story so far. Rhode Island not able to get any inside score. Phillips over Collin. Hearing your comments with the miss off glass, counted inside for Andrew Kobolsovsky. Little point center there for Charlie. Green for Jones. Jones drives off to Weiler. Counted and the foul. Chuck Weiler strong inside, but Charles Jones penetration. We've seen him a couple times on turnaround baseline shots when he's going up against a bigger Lou Rowe, also against Temple, a couple guys inside. He struggled. He makes one of two. Jones, long three. Oh, baby, did that have some English on it. Ahead of the field to Phillips. He does a good job to track it down and lay it off the glass for two. Phillips from the baseline. Counted and one. Phillips point range. Phillips strong inside. Unfortunate tragedy for Harry Moore with its tough RPI rating. Is intended inside for the Dragons. He'll stop, pop, and hit. Two point back. Steal by Charles Jones. Going on Whistler. No rebound. Follow good by Charles Jones. And the Rhode Island by five, 57-52. Good inside move by Jamal Phillips. And again, Kobosowski oh, yeah. oh. points. Phillips over Rose for two. Since Sunday, he was wearing a boot on that bad ankle that would uh, ice water inside of it. Here's Marcotte off the steal. Kobosowski in transition. Andrew Kobosowski. He looks quicker. Marcotte to Kobosowski. Kobosowski squares up. Offensive rebound. Leans in high off the glass. And Weiler for the follow. And Chuck Weiler is down on the floor. And now that Rutgers gets out and runs. Jones to Phillips. Jamal Phillips finishes the fast break. Squares up and gets a good look at the goal. He's a terrific medium range jump shooter. Bob Wenzel. Phillips trying to work hard inside. And there it is, Wally Dixon. He's the crowd to his feet. Flashes of the brilliance he demonstrated at Linden High School. Dixon, over first. There's another highlight. I shoot it. James for three on cue. Oh, man, after James hit that three point basket. Phillips inside, not once, but the second time. Weiler brings Dare out into the corner. Jones to the basket, the reverse for two, and he falls down. Marcotte to Jones. Charles Jones brings him to their feet. He's got nine. Violation, and we've got a little altercation inside as technicals are assessed, and we'll wait and sort it out. And Mark McDonald inside made Kobolsovsky floating to the baseline for two. Andrew Kobolsovsky at least a two possession game and trailing by four. Well, right now, Jamal Phillips has been able to, when they isolate him on the low post, get some scoring inside. Their other offensive threat is Charles Jones, but they want to put Jones in a situation where he's coming off the screen, gets an open look at the basket. If he doesn't get the ball moving, instead of trying to create too much. So those are their two key offensive guys here as they come out of this timeout. Let's see on the stretch. That was the player of the game against Kudir. Here's a three-pointer by Wally Dixon. Temple matchup zone that just causes people fits. Opponents are shooting 36% from the field against it. And historically one of the best defensive teams in the country. Wally Dixon. 
And look how far Holden is playing off of Wally Dixon, inviting the outside shot. With the shot clock running down, Marcotte counted, and the foul. Pete Marcotte fails out the Knights on a drive to the basket. He has eight points in the first half. Going for the steal, here's Charles Jones for three. And he's Charles Jones gets up for the rebound. Phillips to Gibbons. So Rutgers cashes in the fast break effort. Reverse to Robin James. James will pop from three-point range and knock it down. And that's a lift for the Knights as James goes for us if we're going to be successful. And that's what's happened of late is this time. It's Dixon. Head of the field to Jones with James at home. No decision needs to be made on that play. Ahead of the field. To Head of the field to Jones with James at home. No Head of the field to Jones with James at home. He's trying to throw it off the foot of Garland Mance. Weiler bothered by McNeil. Gets it to go. Chuck Weiler. High screen. Sion Gibbons floats off glass for two. First basket of the second half. Charge gets the offense running. Here's Dixon. In transition off the turnover. This is where Pete Marcotte needs to step up and be aggressive offensively. Three point basket by Pete Marcotte. Top right up. That's what he does well. Slashing. His shot tipped in by Chuck Weiler. James for three. That's the first half. Kobosovsky over Whistler. That's what Andrew Kobosovsky does well for RU. We're in the half court offense, one of the reasons their shooting percentages are so far down. Tonight they've played extremely well in each and every one of their games. At the point now. Seven on the shot clock. Jones open three-point range. Inside. Hacking the glass here. Made this shot more difficult than it needed to be, but he gets it to go. His team have overcome injury after injury throughout the season. And the answer at the other end, blocked by Chuck Weiler. Wally Dixon filling it up. And now Pete Marcotte. Pete Marcotte runs the show for Rutgers. Inside to Phillips, nearly lost his head as Holden came over the before to play. Got to thank Mr. Rod Burch. Thanks for stopping by and the continued success. Thank you very much, and thanks to New Jersey Network for all they've done for the last 10 over the years. We appreciate it. In the first half. Rich Ashby. That's the dimension he provides in the... Wilder, good luck to Kobolsowski. Andrew stops, pops, and hits. Shoots over Pierce. Jones, end to end. Charles Jones, this time he hits the two. Charles Jones shows on the oh, two. Any opportunity to run. They've only scored two points out in transition. And Jones now and keeps it alive for Rutgers. Not the first time, but he followed and got it home the second. Kobolsowski comes up short. Phillips, the rebound, off glass for two, and Jamal Phillips has been working hard. Leading by one with 5'11 left, we'll take a break and return to the Lewis Brown Athletic Center right after this. One of the Scarlet Knights, 51-50, to 50. it's been a battle of big men inside. The Incas Versatile player leads it to Charles Jones, and they've done a terrific job of keeping the ball out of his hands. Well, the GW Colonials will take on St. Bonaventure on February 18th in Rhode Island. And the junior out of Brady High School in Brooklyn now here to cut it to two if he can with 29 seconds left. He does. It's 59-57. It bounds to Charles Jones who will pull up for three and hit. The lead. Difficult schedule. Duke and Louisville. Two more top ten teams still left. Jones for three. That one was from New Brunswick. Nice call off the bench. Who's ranked among the top 20 players in Tennessee coming out. High school. Kobosovsky, that soft shot. Position forcing them to play a half-court offensive game where they have struggled. Well, the Scarlet Knights right now sitting at 7-13, 3-8 in the Atlantic 10 Conference. And the Colonials at 11-9, 4-7. You can bet that Bob Wetzel's going to come out 
Jones wins it in and out, and Chuck Weiler can't put it in, but Andrew Kovacevsky does tip. Bonnie's inviting Marcotte to shoot the ball, not guarding him out on the perimeter for rebounding. Here's Dixon creating. Nice dish. A little, uh, pulled a string on the dribble and got it by six. Phillips had an ocean. Spins in the paint. Four on two, Rutgers. Andrew Kolbasowski gives the Scarlet Knights their first win. Last five games, as we said, all on the road in that seven-game win streak. They've been winning by an average. Phillips back in for Rutgers, hands off to Anthony Stewart. Stewart gets it to fall. They're going to beat Temple. Final game here at the rack. Textbook block. At the junior from Middletown, New Jersey, at a modern day. Fires, good feed to give it to him. Deion Gillis, a freshman from... Charles Jones in transition. He takes it all the way in. And the tip in is there for Wally. That time. Good defense by Rulo. Jim Rulo jumped out. Jones off to Kobolsovsky. Andrew Kobolsovsky is 131 left. Jim Rulo came up with a big shot. 5 of 15 from the field. He's got 11 points. Stretching that lead to seven makes it a three possession, three scoring opportunities. Drexel a 12 point lead, holding now with 23 points as James drives the baseline. Count it and the foul. Rutgers, two on one. Dixon lobs to Charles Jones. Well, mark down that highlight. Dixon lobs to Charles Jones. Dixon lobs to Charles. You can also play that point guard spot. So they were still worried about Marcel Stacey with that Robinson wide open there. Wally Dixon's getting hot early. Next season. Jones finds a three-point. We also have Ryder and FDU. Get a good flavor of all the Division I teams in the state of New York. Rebound for Rutgers. Lead pass up the floor. This is Jamal Phillips by Kellogg. And Rutgers ties it up at two. Up with the win. The credit to Bob Wenzel and his staff as we see walk-on Chris Lee check into the game. Gets it off to Phillips, and the crowd wants Chris Lee to voice one. Was injured, and the Chico player has been a big plus. And right off the gun, Chuck Weiler hits it. Rutgers leads it by one, 12-11, 13 minutes and 25 seconds to play. Charles Jones hits his first field ball. He gets into Marcotte, Ashby. He's got to look for that shot first. Dixon penetrates. Oh, what a shot. He was on his way back down. And he went off Jones. Being guarded outside by Whitehead. Jones to Weiler. And he lays it up and in. And a good catch in that play. Set it up. A good two-man game right this match here. Phillips. Came off of a pick. And Wally Dixon. Knocks it in. Dixon now with eight points to play. But how about the block from Camby? Is he an athlete at 6'11 or? How about Charlie Wilder that game? One thing Rutgers has not done is, is go to the post and back out. Dixon. And it drops for him. So Rutgers. Nice look, Marcotte to Jamal Phillips. That's a great athlete. From the outside, and it is Wally Dixon. He will be real integral parts of the game on how they cover Derek Austin. They have 10 fouls there, so they can push and shove Derek Austin. They like to play the physical game. The key is, can Duquesne stop? Duquesne by four. Ashby hit a three. Ashby, the basket and a foul. Nice luck inside. Ashmead with a three. Got it. Five first half points for Rick. And from Whitehead to Kenya Hunter. Inside Austin. Blocked by Weiler. He got a piece of it. Here's Marcotte in transition to Weiler. And Weiler runs the floor. Exactly. I love it. As the block starts to Weiler. And Weiler runs the floor. And Weiler. And Weiler runs the floor. Down and then Lou Rowe. A rebound for himself. Jones.
Jones on the baseline. What a beautiful play by the freshman. Charles Jones scores. Jones on the baseline. What a beautiful Jones on the baseline. What a beautiful play. Out to Marcott. Shot clock at three. Marcott gets it off and hits. A two-point bucket. You leave him alone. You gotta stay with him. Phillips, nice reverse as Ricky Robinson came flying across. Phillips hits for his fourth point. Leon Agnew, Weiler with the rejection. Rutgers now four on two. And Rich Ashmead knocks it in for a three. Ashmead with eight first half points. He's stretching his first half for Rutgers. Big basket there. Cuts it down to a... Comes right back, fires a three. This time he gets his own rebound, puts it up again, and in. So the freshman Jones... Bob Wenzel's really been searching around offensively as to what best suits this team. Early on he was using a passing attack, now he's going with some basic setup plays. Gotten out of the passing game because there was too much decision-making pressure. Weiler inside for Phillips, and Jamal Phillips scores his fourth point. Rebound to Jamal Phillips, and he puts it up and back in. And Phillips has really thrived in his role on the bench. And the excitement generated by a real home court uh -huh. it is something special. Jones fires for three, he hits it. And Jones comes back clapping his hands and bows. The freshman Jones, nice reach around. Charles Jones. Nice look, Phillips got it with one second to play and the foul. That is real big for the Scarlet Knights as Jamal Phillips gets his 10th point, but they'll go into the locker room. Nice look, Phillips got it with one second to play. Nice look, Phillips got it with one second to play. The Scarlet Knights of Rutgers, great look at the end of the first half. Marcotte finds Jamal Phillips with the... Dixon has the rebound for the Scarlet Knights. Rutgers breaking three on four. Ashmead, he hits it. So Ashmead showing a little more intercepted by Ashmead. Ashmead and Jones, two on two. Ashmead goes to the glass and lays it in. Six points, Phillips lays it in. He may not be so calm at Phillips. 48 39. Ashby finds Dixon. It's all going back in. Here's a loose ball. Weiler with it for Rutgers. Ashby behind the shoulder. A steal by Jones. The Rutgers D paying off as far as Jones fires. And it's put back and in. I believe it was Weiler out of nowhere. Fires. And it's put back and in. Fires. And it's put back and in. I believe the Scarlet Knights. Let's watch the foul now. Who gets it? Is it Weiler? I think it was Weiler all the way. I do too, but they uh, changed it. Marcotte to Ashby, and he buries a three. As you saw on that shot. Ashby for three, and he hits. Jones, nice look inside. Dixon has it stripped clean, gets it back, and scores it. First points of the night for Dante Bright. And that UMass lead is at nine. And here's Chuck Weiler. Well, anytime you're being... And then here's Chuck Weiler. Weiler. Oh, it's a seven-point game, and all of a sudden, Andy Jones gets the steal, the three-point play, now three free throw. Good move by Robin James. And the Dukes go back up by six. Oh, Wally Dixon with a little showtime. A lot of... Ashby penetrates. Nice dish to Dixon, who leads it up and in. And there's that final... And the steal by Jamal Phillips. All by himself. And it cuts the lead to three. As with the lead, they've run it from the start. Side, Wally Dixon. Run to the base. And what's happening, they're getting open and he's stepping into the basket. Soft touch by the sophomore, Andrew Kolbasowski, who scores his sixth. Zip, if they can get a couple hoops here. Dixon with a pretty spinning move. There's so many teams that are right there on the edge. Jones with a three-pointer. 67. Ashby to Kolbasowski. 
Back to Ashby, open, got it. Oh, is he on fire? Ashby is feeling it from all over the court. Catch for Jarek Alston, the tough chess pass, the good pass by Powers, and the good hands by Alston. Dixon with the running one-hander. Weiler will step out and hit the shot by Bright. Rowe loses it to Wally Dixon. Two New Jersey guys going at it there. Weiler, long lead to Jones. He pitches back to Dixon and a nice move by Wally. He pitches back to Dixon and a nice move by Wally. He pitches back to Dixon and a nice move by Wally. You don't have injuries. And Temple also has tournament experience. That means a lot. Gibbons, beautiful move by Sion. Charles Jones out there for Rutgers. They were going with three guards and Andrew Kolbasowski reaches up for his eighth point. You couldn't diagram it. Ask me, he's been hot. The rainbow. 14 and on the bench, and so it's a move that worked. Long three by Jones, he's got it. Second chance not there. Jones clears the head for Dixon. Wally Dixon showing you his athletic ability in high school. He scored nearly 20. Dixon. Bob Wenzel's club now. Trails it by three. 31 28. They've been able to handle the foot to you, though. They'll get a wake up call in the locker room at halftime. Here's Marcotte. Hits the three, and Rutgers takes the lead with 15 seconds to play in the half. Inbounds goes to Dixon. At the buzzer. Got it. The basket counts, and that's a three pointer for Wally Dixon. And what a first half for the sophomore. He'll put 14 on the board. Hunter. It's soft, and Rutgers gets it across. Wyler, nice look to Phillips, who lays it in. He's trying to Rutgers to bring the ball off the court. Ashby hits. It's been a while. Marcotte will push the tap off. Swept by UMass Temple, UW, and Rhode Island. Kolbasowski, he hit. Jones weaves through the crowd, and Wally Dixon puts it in for his defense. It's been the key. Anthony Stewart with his first field goal. There. Anthony Stewart with the offensive rebound and the putback. 11 and 7. Kolbasowski with it for the Scarlet Knights, and he lays it up and in. Now the sophomore from Arkansas. Here's Dixon again, and Wally Dixon answers right back against Dante Bright. Dixon now has a 50. For students, just must have wondered what you were studying. That was funny. Kolbasowski in the key. Standings and therefore the seedings for next week's tournament as Robin James scores his second three. The first, and that's the key. Nice reverse move by Charles Jones. Andrew Kolbasowski, very good this year's to injury. Kolbasowski with Charles Jones. And Andrew puts it in and draws the foul. Called a timeout there just to get a couple of subs in the game. Okay. Kolbasowski in a nice feed from Trump. That defensive intensity again. Kolbasowski fakes by Meyer and scores it. Consecutive baskets for Andrew Kolbasowski. Reese Kellogg for the open shot. Dixon, oh. what a highlight film this guy is. Wally Dixon rams it in. Yeah. Dixon, oh. what? Wow. Dixon, oh. what a highlight. Knocked down on the other end. James with the steal. Basie back into the field of play. Thanks to Steve Joyce and Jeff Yonkins for their help with the statistics. <laughs> Rutgers Club is at the home stretch of its season. The Scarlet Knights have experienced the highs and lows that comprise the college basketball campaign. And now are you is fighting and scrapping for its place, trying to get to the 500 mark and avoid the disheartening effects of a losing season. 
Miss Bella Knights and St. Joe Hawks. Right now, let's go to public address announcer, Jim Wilson. For tonight, is Dimitri Damani in the lineup. Here's James trying to pick up where he left off. Robin James breaks the seal. Let's go back out. Great, great. Kobosowski. Kobosowski, a two-point basket. Hensel's Rutgers Club continues its emotional journey. Coming off an exhilarating comeback victory over Duquesne, rallying from a 19-point deficit. Tonight, they'll go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, taking their best shot against Massachusetts. Jim Wilson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Lewis Brown Athletic Center. This evening, the 96. Well, a hodgepodge for eyes on this sellout crowd. A little one-two-two zone here for St. Joe's, trying to mix things up. And Ashby answers the call against the zone. He's successful in the first half. Kobosowski for three. Andrew knocks it down. Somehow, tip up and in. Right of the Minutemen. And UMass controls the tip. And now Charles Jones to Kobosowski. Andrew Kobosowski jams it home. And right off the bat, that gets the crowd into it. And this Jones to Kobosowski. Andrew to Kobosowski. And Jones to Kobosowski. Andrew Kobosowski jams it Two, three years. Rutgers almost exclusively used that week. Kobosowski. Steal by Clark. Santiago ahead of the field. The main contested layup. Struggling offensive. Now as Robin James checks in. Now when I park his second, he'll sit down. Damon Three. For Rutgers, Damon Santiago, only basket the Scarlet Knights would score in transition. And that was the key, I think. And it's inside. Oh, Phillips for two inside. As you predicted, Rob. Those black uniforms, no win in that. Ashmead with the steal. And the score, Rich Ashmead. Back in the lane, forcing Rutgers to set up against the half-court date. Carter with a three-point basket. Carter floating from the foul line. Kept alive, Kobosowski for two. James for three. Robin James knocks it down. Kobosowski inside to Clark. And the Scarlet Knights regain the lead at six. Transferred from Brookdale Community Clark. College. He has four points. Carter wants to go. Gives it off to Kobosowski for two. Beyond the three-point arc. Rutgers in transition. Carter to Ashby. Richie Ashby. Up at the other end, trying to force the tempo. And he's keyed it by his smart play and the play of a point guard. A nice drive. Pulls Hilscher over for the help and an easy two for Kobosowski, and then he got right back in and forced the turnover, came up with the steal. That's what you want to see from your point guard. Princeton is live, Robin James to steal to Ashby. The reverse for two, Rich Ashby. Six feet tall. There's Rich Ashby. Deep in the game with a double-digit lead. Garner leans in and scores. Oh. Jamal Phillips, offensive rebound and score. It's a two from the Scarlet Knights. Leading UMass 8 5. Timeout on the floor. We'll be back on the PS. Losing down passing lanes, and then anytime you can get out ahead of the field and get easy baskets against UMass, you're in. Santiago and Jamal Phillips in for Rutgers. Here's Jamal. Basket active on the offensive glass, especially on this end. And that's a guy that can look to match up against Lou Rowe. Clark with a good presence inside forces the turnover. Three on two. Phillips. And a foul from Damon Santiago. And you can feel the excitement. And again, Rutgers, an emotional team. They come off a big... The baseline out of bounds for the open three. The call for the moving screen. And Bob Jones for three. Charles Jones cuts it to one. 44-43. Phillips with a mismatch on Doyle. 
takes advantage of his side. A nice pass by Santiago as he draws the defense, and then Jamal Phillips rewarded for running the floor, gets an opportunity. Santiago comes away with the offense or the defensive rebound and quickly pushes it. There's the now throws it up over more Rutgers one. Clark leans in and gets it to fall as he hits the floor. A lot of contact, nope. There's the steal, Charles Jones who jams it home. Henderson tried to back the basketball out and swing it. Jones who jams it home for a long period of time. There's Darren Height missing from three. Darren Gibbons, found it, in the foul. Underneath. Good hustle to get the offensive rebound. He'll look again to Kobosowski. Who goes over with the pass? Al Carter, though, nails a three instead to Al. To Ashmead. We're tied at 51. Nice play by Carter. Quick hands on the defensive end. Keep in mind that the three seasons prior to Bob Wenzel were three straight 20 loss seasons. So he... Tommy Nunez against George Washington. David Santiago kicks it all the way himself for two. That's his second time. Rutgers defense doing a great job here in this run. St. Joe's unable to get anything going on. Off the double top speed. Andrew open from Jamal Phillips. Counted. And a foul shot coming up. Yeah, and they're extending it out. They haven't had much time working on this. And right there to play the level he's been playing now. He might have ended up being newcomer of the year. Here's Rich Ashby for two. He's for the shot clock. Kovalsovsky spins over Townsend. Oh, baby. Andrew Kovalsovsky against Rutgers. That's three four. Kovalsovsky from Al Carter. By nine, make it seven. Kobosowski crashes the board and scores. Timeout. Inside. Phillips inside. Count it. And the foul, Jamal Phillips. And don't think the senior co-captain doesn't love making that basket to Clark. Back to James for three. We're tied at 61 on Robin James' three-point basket. Off the three with 1.8 seconds left. Down by two against Rutgers. Threw the ball the length of the court to Yinka Dore. For the easy layup to tie the game, so not over by a long shot. The only problem for Bob Wenzel is he doesn't have a seven-footer to throw it up to. Like Robosowski breaks the seal for the Scarlet Knights. 2-0. Robosowski inside. Clark to follow. The pine rim controls. Corner for three. Al Corner is checked in. Marcotte for three. Now there'll be a two. He's stuck on the line. The games that Evans was held to single digits in scoring. Here's Eric Clark. Leading off. Al Corner. His second three-point basket. Here's Corner to Phillips. Jamal Phillips. Phillips trying to step away from the basket, trying to bring the big guy out onto the perimeter. It works. They get the basket inside from Clark. Eric Clark, and one coming off the feed from Jamal Phillips. Oh. Back out, Robin James. His first three-point basket. A tough time controlling GW in the first meeting. Here's Clark from Damon Santiago. And then tonight. Santiago off to James. He knocks down a three-point basket. Good execution for Rutgers. They get James spotting up against the 2-3 zone. Nice three-point shot. Rutgers with a fresh 35 second on the shot clock. Here's Kobosowski. Not Kobosowski. Inside Eric Clark. The freshman finishes. He has an academic suspension from Bob Wessel. Al Corner squares for three. When he feels it, good floor coming to the other side of the goal. Nice move. Corner answering for Rutgers. Al Corner. Johnson has 15. Here's Corner for three. And a tight. The screener tried to free up Robin James. Corner wants.
wants to go. There's Poole in the middle, but Al Carter finds a way to score. Carter off to Phillips. Good look by Carter and Jamal. Cashed it in the first game, so Rutgers doing it in the paint once again. Sandy Porter rebounded by Jamal Phillips. He puts it up, count it, and the foul. Jamal Phillips. Well, Phillips established with the, the foul line. Phillips. Jamal Phillips in the Atlantic 10. Evans with two. Carter to Phillips. 19 for Jamal. Wow, he is. Santiago back into Jamal. Five on the shot clock. Phillips over Alexander Cool for two. What a tough A win here would get them one game within 500, and they get a time bounce. The home run for Al Carter. He has 17 points this season. Trying to hold on to second place. They came into the night tied with Temple behind UMass. And they held the tiebreaker over the Temple out. Court pressure runs some time off the clock. Omo Moses with that foul has found out of the contest. Another chance. Off to Phillips. Jamal might be scheduled. Jones, Bob Wetzel's club, a 10-point lead with just over 53 seconds left. Four fouls. Get out to Jamal Phillips. Phillips, this should be the exclamation mark. He lays it up and in. It's a six. No good. Phillips, rebound. And is fouled by Antoine Hart with 3.6 seconds remaining. The celebration is on here at the Athletic Center. And that'll get a high five from the coach, Jamal Phillips, with the layup ahead of the field and then the rebound off the missed shot. And Chris Lee, the senior walk-on, he gets himself into the game, and all five seniors see in action here tonight. When he gets in, you know it's over. The senior from Hyattsville, Maryland, out of DeMatha High, is good. Count it. Kwame Evans, the three-point basket at the buzzer, but Rutgers defeats George Washington, 91-87, and Bob Wenzel, thanks to Home Faithful, here at the Lewis Brown.